Hi, Joey John McGuire. Uh, still confined to barracks. Um, I know I'm from it, so I apologise to any of my followers uh, for not uploading my recent work. Uh, it's just the way it is. Uh, the Wi-Fi isn't very good where I live. Um, and I'm unable to go to the pub to upload, so uh, having said that, tomorrow I see the specialist uh, the heart specialist and if he gives me the nod I shall be able to go to the pub and have a little celebration because I haven't had a pint for five weeks now and they're all through the heat wave and I am choking for a beer and uh, if I get the nod um, then no doubt I will be on my way back to France until the end of the summer season which is November anyway enough of that um, one of two uh, poems needing to be uploaded. Um, the first one about Grenfell, Grenfell and, and my own situation. Uh, it's called Echoes of Twin Towers. Some of the dust having settled, the remains unrecognisable, just a charred, burnt out shell to serve as a poignant reminder to us all of gross human infallibility. Dressed in temporary bandages, this monolith to incompetence hides its grim reality from public gaze, hoping to be forgotten. No longer headlining the nationals, Grenfell awaits the demolition team to finish the job the fire left behind with the hope that raising it to the ground will block the unpleasant happening from history. Nearby traffic flows unaffected, daily commuters no longer turning their heads in disbelief. What's past is past to those unaffected. Life must go on, and there's nothing much to see anyway. By day, foot sloggers hear little from the corridors in their passing but I am told that when the wind howls, so too do the corridors, as if in deep remorse. At night it is reported to be worse, for in the dark silence locals swear to hearing the screams of terrified lone children, unaware that they are going to die. The mere thought making the skin crawl sending shivers up the spine enough to provoke goose pimples and to make the heart cry. The powers that be wish to place me in a high-rise. I protest, but they've already done the deal by selling out to an egotistical billionaire. Money talks, I'm told. One man's bribe is another man's donation. I am left mortified, my life having been tragic enough without coping with more disruption and being placed in a matchbox fit only for a cockroach or some other kind of beetle-like insects, whilst I wait the coming of the undertaker. Meanwhile others, fickle as they are, clamour at the thought of new apartments penthouses with south-west six views. Personally, I'll be keeping my feet firmly on the ground, stuff their fancy cubby holes. I watch twin towers. I'll settle for my quaint Victorian tenement. I call it my muse. I'm told each flat comes complete with a balcony. But I wonder when reality hits and the flashbacks settle in to haunt whether they'll be used for the purpose of viewing or maybe for the more sinister act of jumping. Joey John McGuire.